welcome to Sport Life Channel. Manchester United is the team we are going to be talking about this afternoon. Uh, Manchester United, from uh, where they were last season, they have performed extremely well in this just ended season. Manchester United came third and they won the Carabao Cup. They have trophy and they played the FA Cup finals. Which to so many fans and supporters of United, it is a great achievement for Eric Ten Hag in his first season as the new Manchester United manager. Many have described him as the next Sir Alex Ferguson because of his managerial style, his approach, his man management, and his discipline. Eric Ten Hag, before the end of this season, had identified three priority positions, which were the central midfield, the center defender, and the striker. Now, after this, Eric Ten Hag had already made a list and submitted to the Manchester United board to get him those players. But as of now, we believe Harry Maguire, who was the captain of Manchester United, and who is still a captain because he has not left the club, we are being told that Tottenham is developing an interest in hiring the services of Harry Maguire from Manchester United. Harry Maguire is a controversial uh, player in Manchester United. Some fans don't like him, some even insult him, but I think Harry Maguire is a fantastic player. But for him to have more game, game time and be able to uh, participate in the 2024 Euros, I think it will be best for Harry Maguire to move to Tottenham in order to have game time. Uh, now, we are talking about Lisandro Martinez, who was on injury and presently he is training, gaining back his feet to be able to participate actively in the next season. For the midfielders, we can also uh, say that uh, uh, we can also say that for the midfielders, Fred seems like he is going to leave Manchester United this season if Manchester can get a substantial amount for him to leave. So we are waiting also to see what will happen with Fred. We have been told that Fred is likely to join well, Fulham. Sorry, Fred, Fred is likely to join Fulham. Scott McTominay also looks likely to leave Manchester United this season. Now, as of yesterday, Barcelona has officially given a green light that they are ready and willing to sell their star midfielder to Manchester United this season if they are ready and willing to be. You can remember last season there was a very long saga between Manchester United and Barcelona and finally nothing was done. Finally Manchester United brought in Casemiro during the late hours of the window who has turned to be a fantastic midfielder for Manchester United and he has helped the club. His impact can be really, his impact can be felt at any time he is in the pitch. If you notice, Manchester United games that Casemiro has not played, they have faced so much difficulties, especially in the midfield. So we are hoping to see that Manchester United will step up their game. We are also being told that Manchester United is in a race to bring in Declan Rice to the club. So we are waiting. Now we have Manchester United, Arsenal and Man City. That's first three teams in the league are in the hunt to bring in Declan Rice to their various clubs. So we'll be waiting and watching to see what will happen to this transfer. So far, Manchester United has played very well this season. They have considered less goals than last season, but they have not scored enough goals. Meaning that Manchester United really needs a traditional number nine. So Manchester United are in the market for a traditional number nine. They have been linked to Ramos. There are 
they have also been linked to hurricane. There were talks about Victor Oshimen, but I believe the price for Oshimen is so high for Manchester United to pay. Manchester United, I don't think, will be willing to spend 150 million euros on a single player. So what I see is Manchester United might likely go to a less expensive striker who can come to the club and grow together with Martial because I believe Martial will stay. In the goalkeeper position for Manchester United, there were rumors as of last week that David De Gea was willing to go to Saudi Arabia due to the lucrative proposal that was coming from, from Saudi Arabia for him. So, but what we know at this moment is that David De Gea is ready and willing to stay in Manchester United for another season, but his new contract has still not been finalized by Manchester United. So, we are watching closely because Manchester United is also linked with uh, the Cameroonian goalkeeper Onana, who has done fantastically well in uh, Inter Milan this season. So, we are waiting. Should David De Gea go, Manchester United will likely go for Onana. Maybe United will still go for Onana, even if David De Gea stays, because United are looking for a goalkeeper who can play from the back. A playing goalkeeper that play with his legs. All of us know David De Gea is not comfortable with the ball on his legs. Apart from that, he's a perfect goalkeeper. But the modern game requires a goalkeeper who can play from the back with his legs. So let's watch as this uh, sales saga continue and uh, as the transfers continue, we will update you with the latest transfer news and rumors for all these clubs in Europe. But our focus will be to keep you informed. Thank you and have a nice day.